Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Publisher journey video of the day. Um, I just came from work. Did some work for today, and uh, you know, just work. I was working on a table of contents, basically, uh, for more books in the future. I have like uh, I'm co I want to cover all core categories of life, you know. So that's what I want to do. You know, I was doing a table of contents, for example. A future book called How Expert Guide to Science and Nature. Okay, table of contents. Uh, detailed. Um, home and family. Just everything, man. Just uh, sustainable living, survival. Yeah, emergency, preparedness, and survival. That was actually a core category uh, as well. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot more categories, but what I want to do is I want to cover all core categories just cover all bases and then after that I'll go into more specific niches you know and on top of that I have also have another idea today like I had another idea I, I want to have one book that includes everything as best as possible one book that has A to Z all categories into one book as well so I'm going to have individual books for each of the categories, but I also want to have one book that covers all core categories, you know, you know, so I had a book about spirituality and religion. Uh, that was another category for, but for that, I'm going to be honest, I'm a born again Christian. So I'm, I'd rather do a book just on Christianity. Okay. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So there's only one way, Jesus Christ. I'm not doing any other spiritual topic, other religions. So I'll just, no, no disrespect to anybody's beliefs, but that's, that's, that's how I'm doing it for that topic, for that category. And there was all education and learning I did, um, career and professional development. I just did a book about that. I was 101 plus jobs and careers, but I was... Another category is uh, career and professional development. So I want to do a book on that. Health and fitness. I was working on that yesterday. I just finished the book, the content. I got a, that's another book coming up in the future. Health and fitness, guys. Stay tuned. Again, there, like Jeff Bezos said, you know why I started Amazon.com with books? Because books have more categories, more items than any other type of products out there so even if i cover all bases i'm not really covering all bases there's so many topics man if you ever go to a bookstore you see all these books that they were gurus at one time and they're forgotten now unfortunately or fortunately that's the life it just shows you it humbles you like wow at one time this person was a goat and they have like a thousand page book about business and marketing or whatever and that it's like you never heard of them you know, and they put all their time into creating this one book about, you know, their one thing in life. You know, and, and there's millions of these. I don't know how many books there are. I mean, maybe billions. Who knows? But uh, hey, as a publisher, independent publisher, that's that's I'm here to do. I'm I love what I do. So I'm, I'm just going to publish, guys. I'm going to create and publish and rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. And uh, I want to get to I, at least ideally a thousand books that I publish for nonfiction topics. That's, that's my goal. I've published over 400 as of right now. 400 as of right now, technically on Amazon. And I want to get to that thousand number. And uh, once one... One category slash one niche, one topic at a time, one book at a time. So I know my mind sounds like it's all over the place, but you know it, it has. You know, it, it. I have a plan. Okay, moving forward, I have a plan moving forward. I want to cover all cool categories and all subcategories as well. Each of the categories has subcategories as well, which is also a niche. I want to do a book on those as well. And on top of that, if a book does well, I'll do a volume two. I'll go deep. I won't I won't just go wide, A to Z, but I'll also go deep. And there's a method to my madness. 
I go wide, A to Z, all topics, all categories. And if the book does well or the pe people want more of this topic, I'll go deep. I'll do a volume two, volume three, okay? Volume four and so forth. And so, man, there's no limits. Especially with AI now, there's no limits. Technically, Amazon allows uh, authors, publishers to publish up to three books a day. Um, so, those are usually for, I think, for um, low content, no content people because it can be faster to create those sometimes. There's no content, you know, or medium content. But um, with AI, even with high content, you know, technically, if I just... If I want to do it, I could potentially do three books a day, but I, I still need quality control, you know? So I'm, I don't want to go crazy and just do three books a day. That's that's a little too much for me. Even one book a day is crazy, but hear, hear me out here. Behind the scenes, I'm aiming to do at least one book. Work on content every single day. I know I'm working on a table of contents, but also behind the scenes, I also continue to work on the content as well. So once I create the table of contents, then I generate the content with AI. Like yesterday, I was working on health and fitness book, a book about health and fitness and wellness. And I finished it in two days, technically. Why two days? Because AI, um, at least the paid version, you get a limit, you know? Once you reach a certain type of, uh, if you use it so much, there's a limit. You gotta wait another like hour or two hours or whatever. So for me, I like to I like to outwork the machine. When the machine tells me, AI tells me, hey, you can't use me anymore because uh, you use it too much. Okay, then I'll rest. And that that's about two hours of straight doing content, or hour and a, hour to hour and a half, or two hours sometimes doing content step by step section by section chapter by chapter chapter reviews for each chapter uh, that's how I'm doing it so right now I'm pacing myself to do about two a book every two days in terms of content but I still need time to do the formatting the ISBN the drafting the setting up the the, the design uh, publishing it advertising marketing everything but in terms of the actual content it takes if I'm if I'm consistent right now I think I could do a book every two days in terms of creating the content there's people out there I'm sure they're going crazier they're doing three books a day actually publishing it and if you are doing it shout out to you but quality control matters because a lot of times when I publish a book I move on to the next book I don't have time to Revise and look at my past books anymore because I'm moving on. I got too many topics to publish. Some people don't want to do that, and that's fine. But for me, I'm all about publishing all topics from A to Z. So, you know, I got this is a pace that works for me. This is the pace that works for me. You know, I'm working on one book every two days in terms of content. Realistically, to put get the design getting the setting up doing the publishing doing the advertising it takes about a week one per book one week oh, one book per week so ideally hopefully I can publish 52 books in 52 weeks um, now with the help of AI and so but then the reality for me I'll be honest I'm publishing about three books a month so ideally 52 books in 52 weeks, a book a week, but realistically, I need some extra time. So it comes out to about 36 books a, a year, which is not bad. I actually, before AI, I published 35 or 32 books in a year. In 2021, I was just like locked in. I was just going focused and I just, and that was hiring real life, everyday freelancers, everyday experts. You know, but now with AI, there's no excuses. I got to beat that number minimum. If I want to be really focused, I should do a book a week, 52 books in 52 weeks, you know, and I'm going to keep at it. Why? Because you never, you never know about the future, man.
That's the thing. You never know about the future. You never know about the competition coming up. You got to work at it like you're new. You got to work like you're broke. You know? So, while we're allowed to do this, I want to go all out. You know? That's my mindset. I want to go all out with this. And, uh, who knows what happens in the future, you know what I mean? I talked to a guy uh, last year at a seminar. He did, he published, I thought I published a lot of books. He was in fiction. And he said he published like 700 books. I'm like, how did you do that? And he was using AI last year. I wasn't using AI last year. I was against it. But talking to him and talking to many other people and seeing the platform support it that, and seeing my competitors use it, that's what convinced me, you know what, let me... Let me give it a shot. But I was talking to this guy. He, he uses AI. And basically, he published 700 books or something. And he was telling me, yeah, while I'm here at the conference, my books are being published right now. I was publishing a book like I, while I was in an airplane or something like that using AI. And I was like, I, I was convinced. And he did 700 books. He was in fiction, though. And... Uh, I was like, wow, that's crazy. I thought I published a lot of books, you know? In the hundreds, 400 plus or whatever. But this guy published 700 books. And, uh, yeah, he, he told me. He warned me, like, this thing, AI is going to take over. Like, if you're not doing this, basically, it's over. He, he, was, he kept on saying, the asteroid is coming. The asteroid is coming. Sometimes, you know... These guys who are really into their uh, craft, they might seem crazy to normal people. But in a way, even John the Baptist, he was a prophet. But he seemed crazy to the masses, right? He was living in a cave by himself, but he saw something that other people didn't see. Right? So sometimes, just because a person may sound crazy, and, you know, doesn't mean just dismiss them completely sometimes these people who are really into their craft they see something we don't see and he kept on saying like he published more than me 700 books you know and i could see you know i don't want to say call anyone crazy but he was kind of like different which is cool because i'm kind of like that too and i under i understand it because some people may see say oh you're a little too much or whatever but i saw that in it but i understand it but Normal people may not understand us because they're not, you know, all in and want their crap. Maybe they're following the masses. And Anyhow, this guy kept on warning me like, hey, the asteroid is coming. The asteroid is coming. This AI thing. Okay. Uh, he kept saying, make as much as you can, you know, in these next whatever amount of years because the asteroid is going to take over. AI is going to take over. So until then... I'm going to use AI and go all out. Maybe in the future, who knows? These platforms may create their own books. Who knows? I don't know. But until then, I'm going to do what I can with the tools that I have instead of just laying back. Hey, just you got to adapt to change. You got to adapt to change, right? You got to use the technology out there, you know? So that's what it is. That's what it is, you know. You got you got to adapt to change and, and the new technologies out there. So that's 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 what that's what's going on in this industry right now. That's why I feel like a lot of sales are going down for a lot of people this year because more and more competitors are coming in. More and more people are using AI, you know. So you have to improve and update your skills, or else it's over. You know, and that's the mindset I have. I'm not. I'm not going to be. Com I can't be comfortable. You know. You know, I can't be comfortable. And I'm not saying I'm. I'm all there yet. Not even close. But this is. You got to be. You can't be comfortable. You have to be consistent. You got to keep at it. And you got to keep going. And you got to persevere. Okay, so that's it for right now. Thanks for watching. I got to go. If you want to learn more detailed steps, training on how to publish a book, 
uh, advertise, market, and grow your publishing business. Click the link below the video and check out my training. Thanks for watching. Gotta go. Talk soon. Take care. Bye.